So let's talk about a very important outdoor topic, adventure and coffee. Guys, there is no better place to have a cup of coffee than in the outdoors. Obviously, if you're backpacking, you're concerned about weight, and so our gear is going to look a little bit differently. Um, but I'm typically already carrying a stove, so we'll go ahead and light that and get our water boiling. And then for backpacking coffee, I use the Instant Packs from Starbucks. I do find these a little bit bitter. I add half a pack of hot chocolate. If I'm expecting a rough day, or if I've had a rough night, sometimes I'll do the whole package because it's just good for morale. Now one of the downfalls of these lightweight titanium pots is the handles get really hot. So I'm going to use a sock to grab it so I don't burn my hand. And I use using a sock because I always have a sock when I'm backpacking. I'm going to carefully pour the water. I usually leave enough water in there to have my oatmeal. Make sure my handle isn't hot. And then I'm going to sit in my chair and enjoy my cup of coffee. Now let's talk about how to make coffee in the front country. Our gear looks a little bit differently because we don't have to carry it on our back. So we have a jet boil and an AeroPress to make our coffee. So we're going to go ahead and turn on our jet boil that will get our water hot in about two minutes. And we're going to set up our AeroPress. This makes more of an espresso, so it takes I use just one scoop. And now we're going to wait. That's ready. Now we're going to carefully pour our water into our AeroPress. We're going to stir for about 10 seconds. And there's a filter at the bottom of this, so we want to be sure we don't hit the bottom because then it'll move the filter and you'll get a bunch of coffee grounds in your coffee, and that's a sad day. take our press. If you press too hard and too fast, the coffee will come out the sides and it'll burn your hand. I only know that because of experience. It was uncomfortable. Alright, so we're going to press down. Like I said, this is espresso, so it's okay to add some extra water on top. And now we have our cup of coffee. So go outdoors and drink some coffee. Cheers.